It's definitely really nice and I think it's now I appreciate it more having the ability to do that. It has been 15 months since the first case of COVID here in Texas. That was a travel related case out of Fort Bend County reported on March 4th, 2020. Just two weeks later, there were already seven positive cases in Waco. By June last year, the case count here was exploding. But this June, an entirely different story. Tonight, 25 News reporter Sierra Shipley looks back. If you remember, many scientists were saying just wait until summer hits. That's when COVID cases will settle down. Well, it did the opposite, and now a year later, we're seeing more promising numbers and safer situations. We were all stuck at home last year when the summer months began, and it was hard for tourists like Teresa Bars. It was definitely an adjustment not being able to have that freedom to go anywhere. Her mom lives in Dallas, but Bars is from Seattle, and visiting family became limited. I just had to figure out like a, a different way to entertain myself and kind of get that same energy from travel that I was getting without having to travel or not being able to travel. A big difference from last year to this year is the access to vaccines, which Kelly Crane, communications lead for the Waco McLennan County Public Health District, believes is a vital part to the decreasing numbers. We didn't have all the tools. All we had was, you know, social distancing and mask. Um, with our knowledge, we know that vaccines work. We've seen historically vaccines have changed the world. As a community, we've all come together to slow the spread. It's why Bars is able to travel to Waco today. It's great. I love it. Like the mask mandate is different. You, you have more freedom to just kind of walk around. It's a bit, it takes a bit getting used to not wearing the mask, but um, it's definitely really nice. 11.5 million Texans are fully vaccinated. That number continues to increase daily. We're seeing the difference that it's making um, with the number of cases that we have, with hospitalizations. Um, all of those numbers are getting in the place that we need them to be. Of course, many businesses couldn't make it through the last year. However, Bars sees hope for the future and taking it all in while she can. Seeing what's still around, it's really sad to see the different businesses that had to close because of the pandemic, but seeing stuff reopen and seeing everyone kind of get back to normal life, it you definitely, I appreciate it more for sure. On this day last year, 5.5 thousand new cases were confirmed. Today, that number is just over 1,000, so we've got a ways to go, but we're heading in the right direction. In Waco, Sierra Shipley, 25 News. Now, as a reminder, the McLennan County Public Health District is hosting a vaccination vaccination clinic for students on Friday. Kids ages 12 to 17 can get a free shot at University High School starting at 2 p.m.